Pull it over right now, sir. Hey, hey. Oh, another red light, dudes. Oh, this guy does not care about the law. Look at him go, dudes. Uh oh. Oh, this is where we, this is where we get him. Oh. <laughs> Is she? Is she? Hey, is she? Uh, can you like go out with him? <laughs> Scarlet Winter is trying to no. put me down with what another cop. <laughs> Please, dear God. Please. <laughs> Please, dear. He's, he's wearing a fedora. I know, but like he's a he's a. I'm sure he's got a nice heart. He's a good guy. Oh, she doesn't like Listen. the fedora. She doesn't like the fedora, dudes. Um, you know I'm what? married to the law. I guess. Robert Seven is going 10:41. Ah, I <sighs> can't believe it. She insulted my fedora, dudes. My fedora. How dare she? But welcome back, dudes, to another Gary Berry experience. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop it a like. And of course, if you guys do love GTA 5 RP, make sure you guys check out my Mixer channel, Mixer.com, where I stream RP every day. So if you guys want a full experience to see this live when it happens, now you guys know how to watch the GTA 5 RP whenever you want, because I'll be live streaming it every day. That's the plan. For 2018 well this month we'll see how long this lasts okay dudes i'm trying to make this work because I, I i regret not streaming more often for you guys and it's difficult because youtube is always so broken so we're doing some rp on mixer now as many of you guys know a lot of recruits recently got hired it's gonna be back tonight and uh well the problem with that is it's delaying my my final evaluation it's been a real big problem actually but we are we're, we're, we're trying to we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. Um, extra eight, I think it's called. Extra eight true. And extra seven true. Boom, boys. Bring, bang, boom. Now, the problem with this, I think if I if I hit... So, I got these this, this nice bull bar in front. But the problem with it, I think, is if I hit a tree. Let me try this. I don't want, I don't want someone to see me doing this because I'll get in trouble. But let me see. See how it... Ah, yeah. That, that one's bad. See how it made my car almost flip? That's not good. We're gonna just do. We're gonna do that one. No, that's the wrong one again. Dang it. Get rid of this thing real quick. Okay, it's extra eight. What? Why is it? I'm taking out a new car. Let me try this. There we go. I want the little one. The big one causes problems. I don't know why, but it, it causes some extra problems, and I don't want. I don't want. I don't want any more problems than we already have, dudes. Go on, let's go and wrap this one right here. Bling. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna impound this one over here. Does this place got? Does this place got good meth? Anyone here selling some meth? Hello? Meth? I would like to get some meth. Anyone got meth? Meth going once, going twice. Anybody with meth? Parakeet. Oh, I have... Your, what? Why do we have meth on us? <laughs> that is... Guys, listen. I'm getting set up. That was not there before. I don't know how that got there. I promise you, Gary Berry is clean. All right? Was not me. No idea how that got on me. No clue. No freaking clue. I have no idea. Ooh, Robert 776 to the... Uh, where once they get into their vehicles and do something silly, I'll be there to do a traffic stop. This is my moment, dudes. Today is the last day. Today is the last day that I uh, I will be a recruit. Almost, almost. We're almost there. I need to go ahead and catch somebody in a traffic stop. It's pretty easy to do. Pretty excited about it. I can't wait to get it done. Last time we did traffic stops, it was... This, this is how it works. Ready? Let me go and pull somebody over. By the way, that subscription you guys see right there in this video, BPP Killer 18 just subscribed on mixer watching live dudes this is like I, this is a video i'm recording but i'm live on mixer and he's subscribed so shout out to him if you guys come over to mixer when i'm making a video maybe i might get a shout out might get a shout out you never know come on over link to the description coming out so basically this is, how, this is how a traffic stop is gonna work by the way ready i'm gonna pull up behind somebody i'm gonna position my car like this and go and exit well first i'm gonna go and radio in it's robert seven doing a traffic stop whatever road i'm on license plate no additional 77 needed i'll get out from this point i have two options i can walk this way which is probably gonna get me killed right or i can walk this way it's much safer much safer and then i'll walk up to the passenger side window pretty pretty easy we'll see what happens when it, when it comes down to go time you know what i mean when it comes down to go time we'll see what happens it's gonna be interesting okay okay dudes me uh i can't one second sir i'll be right with you uh this is robert seven performing a 1038 on elgin ave and pillbox hill right next to square garage performing oh, a 1038 on a white and red motorcycle no license plate is visible no additional units required at this time unless kareem wants to come over and do this evaluation one second sir hold on give me a moment bro kareem said he'll be right here and he's not even here all right let's just let's just let's just give this guy a ticket my fto is not coming hello sir my name is gary Barry with the santos police department how you doing today sir hello sir got the whole team here yep yeah. do you have a license registration please 
Absolutely. Go ahead and throw that my way. Sir Robert Zombie. Nice to meet you. I'm Gary Bear with the Santos Police Department. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back to your uh, to your vehicle back here. And I'm gonna do you know by chance what the license plate of your uh, dirt bike is? Well I guess it doesn't have one. That's true. Which is weird. This is in a street vehicle. Yeah, well, do you know why I'm stopping you today? Do you know uh, what's going on? I ran a light or some shit back. Yeah, you sure did. Thank you for uh, admitting your, your wrongs here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run back to my vehicle, write you up this ticket. You sit with me here. You work with me. And uh, this is my fellow officer, Kareem uh, Lyon. And I'll be right with you. Right, sir? You go. I really like your See, he likes my hat. Why do all the guys like my hat? But none of the girls. Robert Seven, date and time. Let's go ahead and uh, bing, bing, boom. Gary Barry, $1,000. Boom. All righty. Mr. Zombie, Mr. Zombie. Today, sir, I'm hitting you with this $1,000 ticket. I'll be handing over you for this uh, here moment. And if I get your signature, that'd be greatly appreciated, sir. Oh, absolutely. Ba, ba, ba. 102, yep. Bing, bang, boom. There you go, Robert Zombie. Now listen, sir, if you can do me the solid favor today, take it easy on the streets, you know, follow the traffic control devices, and we won't have any problems. You know, I'm sure that this Say has the- again. Gary Berry with Los Santos Police Department, sir. Pleasure meeting you. Hey, and by okay, the way, thank you for the compliments of the of the hat. You know, it's custom Great made from door. Dubai. I know one when I see one. Yeah, you see? That's what I'm saying. You know, Mr. Zombie, I've been trying to tell the ladies they can't be sleeping on the fedora, but they don't listen. You don't need it, Gary. You don't need to tell the ladies. They should know, right? Once I find the right one, she should know. She should know about the, the fedora made in Dubai. She's out there. She's out there, Officer Barry. All right, well, if you see her, you let me know, all right, Zombie? You you have a good one, man. I will. Drive safe. Take it easy. Tell, uh, tell Andrew Lincoln I said hello. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> all right. You're in the, uh, the wrong car. You gotta get in that car. I know you. No, no, I want to talk to you real quick. Oh. So, so what? So what did you do after you got his ID when you came back here? What did you do? I ran him for warrants, and uh, that's it. I couldn't run his plate. I tried running his plate. How do you do that? Because I saw Winchester the other day give uh, this dude sent to jail for uh, a dirt bike, but I couldn't run his plate. I didn't have a plate when I ran it. Like it wouldn't come up. Uh, usually there's like a serial number or something on the side of the bike. I look for it. It's actually there, or like I gotta like get next to it and then like run the plate next to it. Yeah, you can get next to it. Okay, cause I mean, I was... sometimes the, the police radar can pick it up as well. Ah, okay, cause I was right next to it. And I couldn't, couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Yeah, yeah. So you ran the warrants and stuff. Now, typically, if it was a regular car, what would you do as soon as you pulled them over? Typically, this that's what threw me off, cause I didn't expect to pull over a dirt bike. But typically. Pull him over, uh, announce I'm performing a 1038 on Elgin and Pillbox Ave, uh, license plate, whatever license plate is, make, model, color, uh, and then relay back if I need additionals or not. Once uh, dispatch is 10-4 that my location, I'm good to go. Walk out, approach the vehicle. Before that, I've already let them know they need to turn off their engine. Walk to the car, um, let them know, hey, this is Gary Barrow, Los Angeles Police Department. I pulled you over for this reason. Sometimes you could even ask them why they pulled you over, but normally I don't because they just give you this, this hoot and hanny on how like, ah, oh, you know, I wasn't doing nothing wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Then um, you tell them what you did wrong. And then you go back to your vehicle, check for warrants, write up the uh, the ticket, and then walk over the vehicle, hand over the ticket, get the signature. You have them, tell them have a nice day. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. The only thing is you wanna, you wanna check for warrants before you get out the car. So you want to run the plate yourself or have dispatch run it and then check the warrants of the, vi of the vehicle of the owner. Because if you pull over somebody in a car oh. and you run the warrant and then you, it's, you find out that it's a person that has like four times attempted murder on a police officer, you don't want to walk into his car. He's probably going to shoot your ass. True. Yep. You wanna, would you mind if I run it, if I could run it again? That'd be cool. Do multiple stop traffic stops if we get them today? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Well, like... Was that good to go, or do you want to see more? Like I could do more. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, I want, no, I want to see more. I mean, I'm not saying. Oh, that okay, that. okay, okay. I mean, you, you, you explained to me the procedure. I saw you do it. I mean, I think you're good at it. Uh, it's just you know, those little two things. I'm not gonna say like no because of those little two things. Ten four, ten four, ten four. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna get evicted. I'm gonna get evicted. Let me close my window. Hold on. <laughs> Had to close the window of my car here. Don't want the neighbors uh complaining that I'm shouting. Might get evicted. You know. Doing all these screaming in this car. It's crazy out here in these streets. All right, we're gonna we're gonna circle back around. Let's actually go ahead and uh, 
We'll circle back, go back to the square, and try to find somebody to commit some crimes. Hello, sir? I'm gonna need you to pull it over. We've got a runner! We've got a runner, sir. Stop resisting, sir. Sir, pull it over right now, sir. Oh, he's, he's trying to escape, dudes. He's running from us. He's running from us, dudes. Pull over. Oh, oh, oh. He got some air. Pull it over right now, sir. Hey, hey. Come on, pull it over. Oh, he's running on the red light. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, dudes. He's going. He's moving. Sir. Uh-oh. He's going to go straight. He's not stopping, dudes. Oh, another red light, dudes. Oh, this guy does not care about the law. Look at him go, dudes. Look at him. Oh, my God. We're going to have to. We're going to have to try to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's, he's a danger to society here. Uh-oh. Oh, oh this, is where we, this is where we get him. Oh. <laughs> Did he just die? <laughs> what a chase, dudes. What? <laughs> uh, 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 this is Robert Seven. I got, I got this subject down. He's uh, not breathing. He's unconscious. Looks like he's not going to make it through this one, boys and girls. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see. Why was he running? Let's run the plate. Uh, run plate T. Let's pick up his bike real quick. Oh, he stole the car. Okay. Yep. He stole this moped from a doctor named Julia Ali. My goodness, dudes. We'll go ahead and impound this motorbike so that Julia can have her thing back. No! Oh my god! I. <sighs> God dang it, dudes. I don't have a... Oh. Robert, seven to the unit at the square garage. Go ahead. Can you uh, come over to Occupation Ave in, all, in Power Street and uh, give me a ride? 10-4, on my way. Absolutely embarrassing, dudes. Can't believe I impounded my own car, dudes. But now it's raining, dudes. <sighs> now it's raining. Great. You just hit that woman. Man. Be Listen, what is that? I was in an intense 1038, or uh, I guess it was a 1080, and uh, with this scooter guy, and he wouldn't stop. Hey! And then we came around this. No, no manners. We came around this corner. He lost control of his moped, slammed into the pole, and knocked himself out unconscious. It was great, but in the process of impounding his moped, I actually impounded my car. All right. <laughs> Let's not right, talk let's about get it. You back to PD. Let's not have Kareem know. All right. You're, you're my little secret with you. All right. Yeah. Don't worry. My lips are sealed, dude. Yeah, they're normally open. Yeah, but I think actually we could probably ride together if, if I drive. I mean, we can. Do you want to? I don't know, Marco. You sort of smell bad. I do, dude. I need a shower. Also, uh, you know, I left my like, you know, my bo like deodorant shit at home. So, you know. Oh God. Robert Seven plus one ten uh, seventy six that ten sixty currently in progress. They're about to chop that car, dude. For sure. Yeah. Do you want to just roll up right away, or do you want to give it like a minute and then roll down there? We'll roll up. To Actually, no. They're like right fucking there. Yeah. So. Right here. It's Seminoles of Jeep. Should be on. Be on the lookout for a Jeep. It is. It's them right there. Isn't that it? That's right there. Hello, sir. Sir, step out of the vehicle. Step sir, put your hands up for me. Thank you, sir, for complying. Very nice of you. Harbor 723 at that uh, 1060 on uh, Olympic Freeway. We have one uh, 1095. But are you, uh, whoa, whoa. Oh my lord. Sir, what's going on today? Why were you uh, trying to get into that vehicle that didn't belong to you? Actually, hold on. Before you answer that, don't even answer it. Marco, hit him with the rights. All right, so you got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be right. used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be pried to by a state if available. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you, sir? Yes, sir. All right, All right. sir. Let's get down to the question. First of all, where can I find your ID, sir? Uh, it should be in his backpack in my bag here somewhere. I, th I think it's in the zipper pocket to the top. All right, let's see. All right. Okay, all right. Her Henry Pickleson. All right, Henry, where's uh, where's your car? Did you uh, you didn't have a car, so you were trying to borrow that one? Yeah, I'm, I uh, I, I kind of took a break from the town for a while. I'm I'm just uh. I was out for vacation and now I came back. Okay. Well, How'd you end up all the way over here? I don't, I don't have any. Without a vehicle. I ran. You ran, huh? You wouldn't by chance have stolen that red car over there, crash, and then tried stealing another car, did you? No, sir. Very weird that there's a car right over there, crash, and you were stealing a car that was over here. If I run that car for fingerprints, uh, you're telling me that your fingerprints won't be in that car, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead, run my fingerprints. All right, sir. I'm gonna go and pat you down really quickly to see. If you, do you have anything on you that's sharp, or is it gonna poke me or prod me or hurt me anyway? Uh, might have a hunting knife in my bag. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Alrighty, sir. You do have, uh, I don't have a weapon, but I do see you have 19 fish fillets in your bag. 
You're hungry, sir? What, what? You a fisherman? I used to fish back in the day. All righty, sir. Okay. Well, at this current back moment... Back in the day, dude. How old is that fish in your bag? Yeah, you know, he's been saving it for a rainy day. This current moment, sir, you are uh, under arrest it's, for it's Grand a, Theft Auto. canned fish. And uh, you do have some dirty money on you. You want to tell me how you got that? Where did that come from? Oh, okay. So some, some guy... Uh, I don't know. I think he was homeless, actually. Came up, walked to me, and he said, uh, go steal me a car for $5,000. And, uh, I, I guess, uh, you can fill in the rest. Is this your second car you're stealing or your first car? Well, that was the first car. All right, only still one car. I'm going to do, I'm going to remove your weapons from you. I'm going to escort you into my vehicle, and we're going to head down to Mission Row PD. I'm going to go and get a statement from you. We'll get more information about this guy that gave you this money. I mean, $5,000 seems, uh, pretty good to someone that has, has no house or... No money. Sir, I'm going to I'm gonna do you a solid today, sir. Open up your map. See the map I have open right now? I'll, you can see it, right? A little marker? Uh, yeah. That area is the job center. That's where unemployed people like yourself go. You go ahead and get a job. Now, my biggest recommendation for you, sir, this place does accept all types of applicants, whether you're a felon or not. You can go ahead and apply to be a taxi driver. Now, I know that may sound a little weird, sir, but it does give you a car. With some good cash, with every pickup you do, people that call for a taxi, it's eight thousand dollars, sir. It's a great job, great job. Now, on top of that, if you pick up, to be that's a, a lot more than uh, stealing cars. Yep, a lot less risk too yes, because sir. it's legal. All you gotta do is obey the traffic laws. You know, it's all common sense. Mm -hmm. This is. I'm gonna give you some options. I don't know how limited you are on time, and I know time is of a value to an individual. You have two options here. It sends you away for Grand Theft Auto. I believe it's 10 years and a $5,000 fine. Uh, or I can ha I can let allow you to post bail. What that will allow you to do is you know, it's going to cost you $30,000, but you don't have to spend any time in jail. So you just pay $30,000 to get out of jail right now, posting bail, or uh, you're going to have to go ahead and... Uh, well, I guess I have to go to jail. I, I don't have the money. Well, it would be, uh, it would be a tax to your uh, account. And uh, you would just be in the red for a bit. You would then just go ahead and work off the debt. Uh, would it would it still be on my record? Like would I still it be would a felon? Be. It would be. But it it's I don't think Grand Theft Auto Grand Theft Auto is a felony. It's not a very bad crime. <laughs> I'm sure it's a bad crime still. Well, in in the grand scheme of things, the city, you know, it is a bad crime. Sure, uh, sorry for misspeaking, but. Uh, in the grand scheme of things in this city, I appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, it wasn't a Grand Theft Auto Plus attempted murder on an LEO. That's how bad things can get around here. You know, these streets have been pretty messy nowadays. We've been trying to clean the streets and prevent the crime. And uh, we've been doing a good job. And hopefully you can learn from your mistakes, take up a taxi job, and uh, get on the right righteous path. It's some good work. Is Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, it is. Well, uh, I guess I'll take the, the bail option then. Do I have to pay the bail in a certain time or... No, you don't. Um, no, you do not. Give me one second. They changed how bail works, and I don't remember. Bam, 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 ba, dam, ba, dam, ba. It's actually, it's actually more than uh, than thirty thousand dollars. So I think honestly, it might be a better option for me to just send you away for the uh, fifteen years and seven thousand five hundred dollars fine. Because it's actually more because it's seven thousand five hundred dollars, not uh, what I told you before. Oh, all right. Well, then just uh, I'll go to jail then. Not uh, not not a lifetime sentence at least. Okay. That's easier for me anyways. Well, dudes, that is the end of this episode. Saying that I got away to jail was going to be a pretty easy way to go ahead and wrap it up. I let them know about being a taxi being pretty easy to make some good money. And of course, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like. And of course, if you guys want to see more streams, more videos of RP, and this being recorded live, make sure you guys head over to my mixer, mixer.com slash jobless where I'm probably live right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new RP episode. Later, guys. See ya.